Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron N 5010 model. And in this video I'm going to show you guys really easy step how to change your keyboard if your keys are not working or just want to replace it with a new one. I'll leave the link on our video description for a new keyboard. But it's really easy to replace the whole keyboard. Anybody can do it at home. The tools that you're going to need is a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick. These are really suitable. A screwdriver set, I'm going to be using an iFixit screwdriver set and you're going to be using a Phillips number one. And that's all you need. So first thing first, power off the laptop. Flip it upside down. You do not need to remove the battery at all. All you need to do is remove this cover right here. Remove the screw, just rotate, has a seal lock on it. So you just have to do a few turns and lift up the cover and do a few more turns there. And pull it up and remove the single screw that is right underneath here on the cover. But once you remove that one, pretty much the rest is history. All you need to do is open up the laptop, grab your opening tool, guitar pick. Now right at the corner right side in here, there's that little clip. You want to push it towards the screen and lift it up this way. Push this clip, pull it back. Push, push the clip over the LCD side and this one over here. Once you do that, just lift up the keyboard, pull it towards the LCD screen and you can release the bottom hinges. Now you want to flip it upside down, there's this lock right here. To remove the lock, just put your finger right underneath and lift it up 90 degrees. And the, LC, the flex cable is just going to pop up. I'll try to get the link for this one. The model is a V110525AK1. Alright, once let's say that you got the new keyboard, you want to set it down just like this first and then flip it over. Grab the flex cable. This flex cable have a little earlobe on the sides here, on this side and on that side, on both sides. So you can't just slide it straight down. You have to bring it down in 45 towards the jack, inside the jack, all the way in, and then sit it down towards the motherboard, hold it there, and then lock it down. And next is to put the bottom side of the keyboard all the way under the palm rest. You squeeze the back, the top right on the clip, all the way down. You make sure you hit those tiny clicks. In here you can help it push it down to hear that click. There you go. And this one too, just push the keyboard down a little bit on both sides. So you can hear that click. There. Alright, once you finish with that, just close down the LCD, the screen. Flip it upside down, put the single screw to hold down the keyboard. And put the bottom cover on, slide down the hinge side down. Bring it over, squeeze the back on the sides and put the tiny screw on top. And as always, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to do your own keyboard replacement for Dell Inspiron N5010 model. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a the video comment and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. If you like this video, click that like and subscribe to support the channel. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.